This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom sale like the one you see behind me. Let's get to it. Okay, so in order to do this you're going to need a sale of course. You're going to place that bad boy down and then you are also going to need a paintbrush and a bunch of any one color of paint to start with. You're going to need a lot of colors of paint depending on what image you choose but to start with to get our template you just need one color whatever you want you can buy that in free ports really cheap for gold uh, or you can craft it once you have that you're going to go to your sale you're going to whack it with the paintbrush like so then you are going to zoom in on it so that you can see what you're doing and i don't know if you all have this problem but like you see how slow this moves up i don't know why I have no idea why it's so slow, but just get it to where you can see what you're doing. That's really all you need. Doesn't need to be like perfectly centered. Select whatever paint you want to use. We're gonna use green just because it doesn't really matter. And hold down shift and then you are just going to paint the whole flag. Okay, green didn't wanna work, so we're going to use yellow. So you're just going to paint the whole flag and, and try to get it as complete as you can because it's going to allow you to work with your template um, much easier. So we're just gonna go through here and I'm just gonna paint the whole thing real quick. And then once you have most of it done, you're gonna wanna tilt it just a little bit so you can get behind stuff because you won't paint, like you can see we didn't paint where the mast was. So we're going to uh, go ahead and continue to paint up all of that. Okay, and now there we go. That's that's good enough for what we need it for. The the biggest thing you need to do, make sure you get is the edges. Those are the most important. The center we can just fill in with whatever or delete it depending on the situation here. So once you've done that, then of course you're just going to click save, give it a name, and then click set. Okay, now you can tab out or exit out of the game, whichever you choose. And I have a link down there in the description to a arc paint editor and that's what you're going to use for this i know it says for arc but the, it's been updated to work with atlas okay so once you have downloaded the editor and you open it now i want to make a quick disclaimer i'm not responsible if this thing does anything to your computer or whatever a lot of people are using it, it seems to be fine but just want to put that disclaimer out there i'm not responsible if it wrecks yourself anyway once you have it running you are going to go to where your atlas paint files are saved and those are saved to your main atlas folder shooter game saved and then my paintings so that's where we're going to go we're going to click on the load arc paint file we're going to select whatever you named the file you just named you, sh you shouldn't have anything in that file except for the one you just created i have a bunch but uh so you're just going to select that and then you're going to be presented with an image like you see here but yours will be whatever color you decided to paint your sale okay so once you've done that then you are going to click save as image then you're just going to save that somewhere where it's easy to access. Now that you've done that, you need uh, some type of image editor, whatever you want to use. I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you can use literally any image editor that you want to use. If you don't have one, just go to Google and search free image editor. Once you load up that PNG file that you just saved, you are going to have this situation here or something similar to it, depending on what color you use once again. So this here is your template ignore all of this empty space that you're not worried about that you just want whatever you colored in and that's why we colored it in so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select that area and then we're actually going to delete everything out of that because that information we don't need we just needed to know where the bounding box is for it so we can just go ahead and delete all of that out of there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a small stroke around that so we can see our bounding box. So that's that's the area in which we need to keep our painting in. So now I have a skull and crossbones. I'm just going to drag that over. I'm going to scale it down. Once again, you're gonna need a tiniest bit of image editing skills in order to do this. Uh, there's really no way around it. You just gotta have some type of 
paint or, or image editing program and you got to know how to use it. So now what we're going to do is just scale that skull and crossbones into the window like you see there or the bounding box and that's it. Now I can actually delete that bounding box that I created because I don't need it anymore. I know where I know this is in the right spot and I'm actually going to invert this so that we have a black skull and now all I have to do is just save this image. That's it. Okay, so now it's saved. So now we're going to go back to the Arc Paint Editor. Once you are back in the Arc Paint Editor, you are going to click on Load Image and you are going to load the image that you just created. So now we're just going to click Load. Then you will have a little pop-up box that says, do you want me to reduce the colors of your image? Just go ahead and click Yes. And now you'll have something like this. So we use the skull and crossbones. So that's what I'm seeing. Whatever image you use, that's what you will see there. Now I was running into an issue and I figured out how to fix it. Uh, if you just save the arc paint file at this point, you may have some issues. It may not turn out the way you want. I found a workaround and that is just clicking on where it says limit colors. And that's going to give you a little pop up box like you see here. Now, all you have to do is just select more colors or less colors, depending on what your image needs. You can also use this to correct your image if your image doesn't look right. Our image looks fine. We just have a lot of extra colors that we don't need. So what I'm going to do is just go through and remove all of those colors so that I only have black and white because we are doing a black and white image. Once again, if you have multiple colors in your image that you're using, you can go through and just select ones that are close to it. So for example, if you have pink and this pink isn't selected and it maybe has this one instead or it maybe chose purple, you can just click the pink. Once you've got all of your colors, uh, you want to click update image so that it updates your image. And then after you've done that, your image looks right. It's all good to go. You are going to go to where it says save arc paint file and you're going to save that to where your template file was saved. So in your Atlas shooter game saved my paintings. And then you can just name it whatever you want. You, if you want to keep your template file, you can do that. Give it a different name. If you don't care, you can just save it over top of your template file. Okay, once you've done that, then you just go back into the game. So here we are back in the game. We have our orange sail here or yellow sail, whatever color it was I chose. Now we're going to go to where it says load paint from this type. And then we're going to click our tutorial here and you can see there it is. There is our skull. It's going to cost us 14% black, 10% white. Now all we have to do is click load painting, wait patiently. And that's it. It did it. Now we can exit out and there you go. Now it works the same way with larger sales as you see here. All we have to do is do the same thing. You would do all three. And then for this one though, you would end up with three bounding boxes. Let me show you real quick what those look like. So here is what that will, would look like. You can see that I already customized this one to what I wanted it, but yours would just be solid. And then you would have these three individual sales that you would, or bounding box areas, I should say, in which you would customize. And then you would repeat the steps that we just did for the single sale. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. I know it may seem a little complex and if you don't have any image editing experience, it may be a little bit difficult to, for you. But once you get the hang of it, it's it's honestly, it's super easy to do. Using that program just makes it a piece of cake. The templates are the biggest issue and I was having a little bit of issues with the, what is it, the handling sale because it's like a, it's a, triangle or whatever shape, wedge shape. And uh, the speed ones are honestly the easiest because they're nice and square and easy to deal with. The the angle or wedge shape, whatever you want to call it for, from the other sales was a little bit different and it was a little bit of a hassle, but it'll work uh, uh, if you mess around with it. I'm sure you can get it to work. But yeah, that's it. That's all there is to this one. So before I wrap up this video, I just want to give a shout out to G Portal for sponsoring this series and making it uh, so easy for me to test all of this stuff and be able to teach you all all of this stuff. If you're looking for an Atlas server of your own, check them out. I'll put a link to them in the description. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. 
below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like the comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.